Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. I've got two beautiful fish fillets here and today folks I'm going to show you a recipe that is not only quick and easy but is absolutely delicious. Only takes minutes. Let's get started. So let's start off by taking a half a cup of breadcrumbs. That's more than enough for these two fish fillets. And to our breadcrumbs, we put them in a bag. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of Old Bay Seasoning. Oops! <laughs> in the bag, Evo, in the bag. A half a teaspoon of Old Bay Seasoning. There we go. <laughs> okay, and we're going to add a half a teaspoon of paprika. Again, in the bag with the breadcrumbs. A half a teaspoon of oregano. Mix it into the breadcrumb. And a half teaspoon of salt. All right, so now what we've done, basically we have seasoned our breadcrumbs. Mix it all around just so all the seasoning gets mixed in with all the breadcrumbs. Okay, you know what I'm going to say, so let's say it. When you think you've mixed enough, just mix a little more. Okay, there we go. All right, now, very simply, you take your fillets. Look at these beautiful fillets. These are walleye, freshwater walleye. Uh, you can use any freshwater fish you want, saltwater fish, um, cod, ha haddock are fantastic, sea bass, they're all good. But I'm going to be using freshwater fish today, and these, like I say, are walleye. So you put them in with the breadcrumb, and then quite simply, just get them coated with your breadcrumb mixture. Okay? Takes care of that. Now, again, quick and easy. Take a broiler pan. I've got it lined with parchment. You don't necessarily need to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to put some slivers of butter on the parchment and we're going to place our fillets on top of those slivers of butter. Okay. That looks good. And now I'm going to do a little bit on this side for the other filet. There we go. And maybe one more. Nice. Okay. Now, quite simply, you take that filet, place it right on top of that butter, take the other filet, Place it on top of the other roll of butter. Now what we're going to do to add a little bit of extra color, we're going to take our paprika and just sprinkle a little bit of paprika on top. This will add a little more color to our, our fillets when they cook. Just a light, let's call it a light dusting. There. A light dusting. And now back to our butter again. We're going to cut slivers and place them on top of our filet. So we've got some butter on the bottom and now we have some butter on the top. Of course you can substitute with uh, margarine if you do not want to use butter and that's perfectly fine. The recipe will still turn out amazing and yes this fish will be amazing. Okay and you can see how quick and easy this comes together. So if you come home from work or if you're short on time and you have some fish, very simply season it up. Add a little butter, put it in your pan, and we're gonna we're gonna broil this. So there we go. Ready for the oven. That's it. That's how quick that was. Okay, so I have a gas oven here. I'm gonna set it to broil. So it's gonna be cooking from the top. And as a result, I've got my rack second closest to the top. So you want your fish to be relatively close to the top. The broiler is on. I'm going to place it right there on the top rack and we're going to let that cook for 10 minutes. Um, depending on the thickness, if you're, if you're cooking, for example, filet of sole or flounder, they're very, very thin. They're going to cook up much quicker. So these walleye filets are relatively thick. They're similar to a cod or a haddock. So we're going to take a look at them at 10 minutes. 
and uh, and see how they're doing. It's been eight minutes, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's enough. It's not gonna go the distance to 10. Look at that, folks, eight minutes, and we are cooked. How can you tell? You see that crack there? See how the fillets have cracked? That's cooked, and they've got a beautiful, beautiful golden color to them. Look at that. They are absolutely perfect. How quick and easy was that? Okay, you know what I need to do now, folks? We're gonna plate this, time for the taste test, but aren't those beautiful fillets right there? So, off the parchment paper, Try to keep it in one piece. Beautiful. Very, very nice. They, it said you should eat fish up to two times a week. Well, I'm gonna do my part today. Oh, beautiful. Okay, there's our fish. Little bit of lemon, if you'd like to squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. Right there, folks. That's ready for the dinner table and ready for the taste test. Cooked perfectly, let's take this NP. Oh, wow. Very flaky meat, nice and white. I don't know if you could tell, but that is beautiful, beautiful. Still steaming hot. Mmm. Oh. Nothing fishy about this, folks. Mmm. Delicious. Start to finish, 15 minutes. Prep everything else. In fact, what I would recommend, start some rice before you prep this. Rice takes 20 minutes. Cook, while the rice is cooking, you cook your fish. You've got a nice, beautiful dish for dinner. Fish with a side order of rice. What else can you ask for? Simple, delicious, healthy. And yes, a little bit of butter isn't gonna hurt you. That's for sure. Folks, wherever you're tuning in from today, I hope you give this recipe a try. And I wanna thank you for spending time with me in the kitchen. And until next time, bon appetito. Absolutely delicious.